Hi, it's John at Brotherton Accountants and Accounts.com. Uh, today I'm just going to do a short video on how to do journaling, manual journals on zero, but adding in an auto reverse so you don't have to worry about reversing it. You can set it to auto reverse. So if we go to the system, go to accounting, manual journals. I've done a video on um, new repeating journals. So this is what we're talking about now, just the standard journal. Where you you wouldn't repeat it say month on month so that, like i said there's another video on that if we go to new journal here now it may be that we've got um a rent accrual that we want to put through so you know you you, you get your if you're running management accounts monthly on your zero and you want to put through a monthly charge because you want to get your um rent invoice quarterly for instance you want to make sure you've got your charge going through every month um, so what we would do is um, say debit your P&L with the rent charge to make sure that charge is going through for the month and then you're going to credit your accruals account which is on your balance sheet so a debit on the P&L is, is an expense and then the credit on the balance sheet is a credit to account so effectively it's your, your accruals account so hopefully that makes sense but I mean you can always call the office if you want us to chat that over with you but if we effectively say it's a rent accruals, um, we'll do it um, this month. So on the 1st of May, um, it can be any time in the month really. So, you know, as long as you post it within the month, that's fine. And then we'll do the reverse at the start of the next month. Um, like I say, you don't have to worry about reversing it then. So in here, as whatever you put in there in, the, um, in that box, it will bring it up in the description. Uh, we might have a rent charge. This is just an example. It could be could be anything. It could be prepayments, uh, accruals. You know, it could be anything really. Uh, but this is for rent. So we're saying we're going to charge our P and L with 150 pound for the month because we haven't had our invoice. And then we're going to credit the balance sheet because obviously with journaling, you've, with debits and credits, have got a balance. Like I say, this is this is more accounting really because you're dealing directly with the debits and credits. This is what goes on in the background when you're posting receipts, sales, purchases, but this is actually physically doing the debits and credits yourself. So it might not be for everybody, but you know, this is relatively straightforward just to do a, a rental accrual, something like this. So we're basically saying here, on the 1st of May, we want to charge our P&L, our rent charge, with 150 pounds and then we're going to accrue the balance sheet with 150 pounds now we're doing that in may so what we can do up here you've got an auto reverse date that you can add in so if we go to the next month and on the first to next month this is what we advise people to do um yeah so, so we go to the first of june um we're saying we want we want to reverse this because in june we might get our quarterly um, or bi-monthly invoice for our rent so we don't want that charge going through at the point that the invoice actually goes on so you know you're automatically reversing it posting it and then automatically reversing it so if we say put that through now we've got a May accrual going through so if we go to posted we've got a rent, rent accrual going through and it's been reversed so we can see there We've got it going through in May, we've got a charge going to the P&L. And then if we go back to the reversal journal, which it's done automatically, we've, we've reversed that. So the debit that was on the P&L has now been reversed out. So that will be reflected within our profit and loss account. So in here, if we go to our profit and loss account and run this month's profit and loss account, We've got a rent charge there, which will include our £150 charge that we've accrued, so it, which it does. But then if we go to the following month, well, what we'll do, we'll leave that date as May, so we'll show the two-month period. So if we go to the end of June there, so May to June for the two months, we can see there now our charge has gone through, but it's been reversed so effectively then 
when we get our receipt come through, which may come through in June, we, we'd have the, the charge going through then. So you can see if we're running accounts up to May or we're just running May's accounts, it will always be on there, even though we've reversed it because we've re re reversed it in the following month. So it's a great way of being able to rerun accounts, management accounts for prior months with the charges still on there. But in reality, moving forward, you've reversed them and cleared them. So I'm hoping that makes sense. I mean, anybody that wants any any extra help with that, they can just phone the office and it's no problem. We're, we're here to help. So, OK, thanks again and uh, hopefully see you next time. All right. Thank you. Bye.